What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Huge, huge update this on the futures of Harry Kane and Jack Grealish. Stay tuned for that. Before I crack on with this video though, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, you want to help to support my channel then do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I'm rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the summer transfer window every single day for everybody to enjoy. So if you haven't already, you want to stay up to date first and fast with the latest Manchester City transfer news this summer, then do subscribe. Aiming for 20k subscribers, now less than 100 subs away, so any help towards that would be fantastic. Social media links in a description description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries Twitch link also in the description below if you want to go and follow me on my Twitch 500 likes that is the like goal so leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video and most importantly let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers without further ado let's crack on with this update We're in terms of incomings for Manchester City we are first going to dip in to the outs though we've got a quick update on Liam Delap Football Insider they're saying that Stoke City they are close to signing Liam Delap uh, after having a breakthrough in discussions with Manchester City however that has been contradicted by John Percy at the Telegraph he's saying that talks have taken place between Stoke City and Manchester City however a deal is described as being 50-50 at this stage it isn't advanced and Manchester City aren't all convinced that loaning Liam Delap uh, this summer is the right thing to do in terms of his development and what is uh, it, important, what is going to happen in terms of his future with Manchester City. City want to keep him in and around the first team squad and to me I think that is the more sensible decision but we'll see. His camp seems to be pushing hard for a low move. Man City seems to be pushing hard to keep him at Manchester City to develop with the first team squad. So we'll see. Right, moving on to the ins. Let's start off first with Harry Kane. Massive update. Simon Stone at the BBC. He has said, Harry Kane, he still wants to leave Tottenham Hotspur. He wants to join Manchester City. Harry Kane believes he's got a gentleman's agreement in place with Tottenham Hotspur to let him leave whenever he wants to. And that time is now. However, Spurs are pointing him towards their contract. He's still got a contract. I think it's for another three years. So quite a while. Uh, and Spurs are simply saying to him, you're under contract. You aren't for sale. We aren't letting you leave. And that's that. Uh, and so I was thinking to myself that a way forward for a breakthrough in this transfer would be for Harry Kane to do something that I didn't think he would do. And that would be to hand a transfer request in to try and force the move to show that he is serious about leaving Tottenham Hotspur and he wants to join Manchester City. And I'm happy in saying that Harry Kane's club that he wants to join is Manchester City because that's normally uh, the first hurdle to get over is when we're competing with other clubs. It's quite difficult. And so Harry Kane seems convinced that he wants to leave Spurs and join Manchester City, which is good. The next obstacle we face is, of course, Tottenham Hotspur uh, and trying to, to get them to agree to the transfer. Tottenham Hotspur's stance very simple. They're not going to let him leave. And then news broke just yesterday. Harry Kane was set to turn up for pre-season training with Tottenham Hotspur. He's gone on strike. He hasn't turned up for training with Tottenham Hotspur. They are going to fine him. That's going to be his punishment. Uh, I wait to see if he turns up for training today with Spurs. But yeah, he hasn't turned up. Uh, he's showing Spurs that he's serious. He wants out. He doesn't want to play for Tottenham Hotspur anymore. He is trying his best to force through a move to Manchester City. This is Harry Kane trying to force through a transfer to Manchester City. Fabrizio Romano has spoken about this and said that Manchester City, the indication they're getting it's been backed up by other sources close to Manchester City including Stuart Brennan who are saying Manchester City do indeed want to sign Harry Kane this summer and they'll do everything that they can to try and make that happen. Stuart Brennan has said that Manchester City they're prepared to pay a hundred million pounds that is still on the table by Manchester City that is a bid that's been in for the last few weeks Tottenham Hotspur are going to reject that however if Tottenham Hotspur in the basis of from Harry Kane 
not turning up for training and saying, actually, right, OK, then let's sell him. City hoping that Spurs will come to the negotiations table. And like I said, Manchester City willing to pay around £100 million for him. It's believed that City could maybe go up to as high as £120 million, which, of course, would be a new British record transfer. Uh, if Jack Grealish ends up joining Manchester City, which would be the current British uh, record transfer. And so City could be breaking that record twice in one window. It's incredible. But Harry Kane, he is trying to force through a move to Manchester City. So good news if you want Harry Kane to join Manchester City. Uh, where do we go from here? I have absolutely no idea. I have lots of avenues that this could go down. Uh, I sense that with how Daniel Levy is, is that he'll play hardball. He'll simply just keep finding to um, Harry Kane uh, and he'll simply won't play Harry Kane. Um, and he'll, if he does return to training, he'll return to training on his own. He won't be used by the first team. And uh, yeah, they'll just go in that direction until the transfer window passes and then see where they go from there. But yeah, this is, uh, I feel like it's the do all and end all. This is Harry Kane just saying, look, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to leave and I want to go to a new club and that new club he wants to go to is Manchester City so yeah I'll keep my eyes and ears open with developments on that I'm sure I'll have more news on that in tomorrow's update right Jack Grealish let's speak about him his future is going to be decided it is going to be decided pretty soon I have filmed this video I've filmed this it's currently 8 30 p.m um, the night before I put the video out, so I film it up and then I edit it and distribute it out to you guys in the morning is what happens just to make things easier with my work schedule and timing schedules. Uh, so yeah, so the latest that I've got on Jack Grealish, and like I said, this is a very fast paced transfer, so it's hard to keep up with all the latest. By the time I've, even pr probably by the time I've filmed this video, there's probably new information always coming out. It's a very continuous, very tiring transfer, and I feel like I am at the end now. I'm ready for either you come to Manchester City or he signs a new contract. I'm ready for that now. I want the transfer saga to be done. I'm tired of it now. Uh, but yeah, his future, it's going to be decided. If it hasn't already been decided by now, uh, worthwhile following my social medias, because I will keep you up to date on my social medias with things happening uh, very quickly after the events have happened. So if you haven't followed me on there, then do go and do so. Links are in the description. But yeah, his if his future hasn't already been decided, it's going to be decided in the next 24 hours. The decision is needed. Uh, Jack Grealish, it's quite simple. We'll leave a a new contract to Aston Villa. If he doesn't, uh, he'll join Manchester City. It's thought that Jack Grealish has been given a time space of this week to make that decision. If it goes into next week, then it's thought that Jack Grealish probably will sign that new contract at uh, Aston Villa and won't be joining Manchester City. Then Rob Dawson at ESPN has said that Manchester City, their stance is still pretty clear. They're confident that they've done enough to get Jack Grealish signed. Fabrizio Romano has said that talks are still taking place between Aston Villa and Jack Grealish's camp. However, like I said both sources have suggested that Manchester City are still confident that a transfer can be done. Man City are that confident that they have got the contract all um, written up and everything that if it get you know they get that green light uh, the transfer can be sorted and start uh, getting things in place within hours rather than days so City have the contract ready to go if that is Jack Grealish's decision that he wants to leave Aston Villa to join Manchester City and Manchester City have already got space in uh, to book a medical in as well. Uh, I have heard rumours of Wednesday, so I suspect that today may be a big development in terms of Jack Grealish if that development hasn't already happened. It may already have, uh, and I may just be behind the times, and it's literally happened between the time of me filming this, going to sleep, editing it up, and putting the video out. So if any information uh, is a little outdated uh, by a few hours, I do apologise for that. There isn't really much that I can do about that, just work schedule. So yeah, it, it, life, okay, let me off. Uh, but yeah, like I said, City now literally waiting for Jack Grealish to give his decision on whether he will join Manchester City or not. He did turn up for training once more for Aston Villa uh, for a second continuous day. Uh, and so, yeah, there's been lots of pictures. He's been having discussions with lots lots of the bosses at Aston Villa. Uh, Villa fans, uh, there's been some great coverage covered by Aston Villa fans over Jack Grealish. And now it's all about decision time, crunch time. What is Grealish's decision Manchester City, does he go, follow the glory, win things, um, immediate success, 
and come into the team and push hard on from there. Champions League football, the potential of winning the Champions League, uh, winning trophies, winning the Premier League, or does he stay with his heart? Does he go to Aston uh, or stay with Aston Villa, uh, the team that he supported since a child, uh, a cult? hero there at Aston Villa and the possibility of also becoming a club legend and sticking through uh, thick and thin with Aston Villa. I do feel like with Jack Grealish, now or never, if he doesn't leave now to join Manchester City, then that could well be it. It could be a, a commitment to Aston Villa for the rest of his career, which I'm sure Aston Villa fans would love and I'm sure City fans will be suggesting that he's bottled the transfer. So we're at crunch time now and I'm hoping the next video that I put out for you guys is the decision of Jack Grealish, whether it is to come to Manchester City or it is to stay at Aston Villa, will know either way as to whether this transfer will head into flourishing. And then from there, we can move on and we can start uh, looking at other transfers, both incomings and outgoings. So there we go. That is the latest. It, it's that I'm just going to speak through. Uh, I'm just going to nip onto Twitter. Like I said, things are ever developing. So I'm just going to head onto Twitter to see if there are any more developments as I film this video. Uh, and so I'm just going to have a quick look uh, at that. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I do hope that everybody did enjoy this video. So thank you everybody for watching this video. It's much appreciated. Leave a thumbs up if you did uh, enjoy this video. Like I said, aiming for 500 likes. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also uh, to leave your thoughts on what you made of these transfers in the comments below. Would you be happy with Harry Kane joining Manchester City? Jack Grealish, what's your thoughts? Liam Delap as well, leaving or staying? What's your thoughts? Do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget also to subscribe to my channel. Stay up to date with all the latest Manchester City transfer news this summer every single day. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. 20k subscribers, less than 900 subs away. Any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also my social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, my Twitch link also in the description too if you want to go and follow me on my Twitch. Doing some live streams every weekend for everybody to look forward to. So do go and follow me on there as well. And I'll see you all again tomorrow for what I'm sure will be more Harry Kane and Jack Grealish news. Could well be the day that we find out if City will be signing Jack Grealish. Stay tuned for that. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>